What's up, Geeks and Freaks? This is Geek Green here with my Mario shirt. It's a cool shirt. Here to talk about Nintendo E3 press conference and my thoughts about it. I'm going to tell you what I liked about it, why I thought it was meh, and what, what I hate about it, and what I was disappointed about it. Um, I'm going to sh so, so I'm going to start with what I liked about it. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC. That looks awesome. I love Xenoblade 2. And I highly recommend getting it if you have a Switch. It's really fun. Um, the, the story is awesome. The characters. This, I just love the characters. Um, it's like it was talking. It, they, the game, the DLC was about like they're showing like the past and like the, the, like the, the original hero, whatever, named Adam. And so like talking about the past and whatever. They're the characters that we have seen, like flashbacks, and now they're playable. We're also going to have the Blades as playable, like Mithra and Bridget. That's cool. So I'm, I'm excited for that. I have, I have not finished uh, the game yet. I have not finished the game yet. Because I'm stuck at this one part that says that it's the easiest part. I mean, it was Jin, The easiest boss for Jin, And I can't beat him. Am I am I just not bad? Am I just bad at the game? I don't know. I've heard it was just that he's he's the easiest boss. Well, he's his round. His is he that that that's the easiest round for Jin. So yeah, yeah, I'm excited for a DLC. Another thing was Fireman. I th it was really cool that we show now show Fireman. That was actually on my list, and so that was checked off. That was something I wanted to see. That wasn't Smash. Um, so I'm really excited. There's just like an overworld of the of your castle. That's really cool. And the the battlefield looks a little plain, but I love the detail they put with the arm army. They didn't do that in the original uh, Fire Emblem games I've played. They have, they haven't done anything like that. So it's cool that that's happening. Um, Super Mario Party. They don't have the card anymore, which I I wasn't I didn't have a I didn't it wasn't a big deal for me. I didn't. Th it did, I, I mean, it was okay. I didn't. I didn't hate it. I. I. I mean, I. I just didn't really have a big problem as a lot of people did. But it's cool that they don't have that. That means that it could be. That. That means that possibly it's going to be good. And also, what's weird is no one was the thing in Mel. Oh wait, Bowser's a playable character. I mean, he was playable in Mario Party Ten, but he was basically what Bowser always was in in the main games. He was always. Um, Always like ruining the party and whatever, but now he's just he's just a playable character. That's it. He's just a playable character. And like, and there's also Bowser Jr. as well, which he was in Mario Party Island Tour, so it's nothing new. Also, Goomba is a playable character, which is really cool because Goomba is never really a playable character if you think about it. I mean, the only time he's been a playable character was Mario the Mario Baseball games. But yeah, that, that, I mean. I, I, I'm going to look at a review of it when, when it comes out because I still don't know if it's going to be any good because, you know, even though they got rid of the card doesn't mean it's going to be a great game. Hopefully it's going to be good. Sorry, my nose is very itchy. Okay, what uh, another thing. So the last but not least was, of course, Smash. And if you guys haven't seen it and this you're just listening to what I... what I, well, You're just listening to me, but you don't have never seen it. They're bringing all the characters back from Smash history. They're bringing every single one of them, which was, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's awesome. They're bringing back all the characters. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. Sakurai, you did, you did, you did, you did, you did good, man. You did good. And I will tell you one thing. I was most hyped for that they that they uh, uh what character they uh, was returning. And this is gonna sound weird. Young Link. I love Young Link. I actually love Young Link better than Toon Link. Even though I will say I do like Toon Link better in uh, in the Zelda series, but in Smash, I like Young Link better than Toon Link in Smash. I will say that. I'm sorry. I will still say that Toon Link is still be is better in the Zelda series, but it's he's he, I, I just like I just like Young Link better in Smash. So it's cool that he's back, and you know all the other characters. It was cool to see all these characters back. It was. Oh my gosh, it was it was really cool. And then they showed off the, what the Inklings, they showed off the new things that they have, even though they're not really, there wasn't really much, but still, that's pretty cool. Like Cappy, 
you don't get to use Cappy, but he's in the game. And you, you Link, the only thing new was a, the bomb he uses. It's kind of like Snake, where he just throws it, and then he just uh, clicks the switch, press the button on the switch, and so that that that's pretty cool. And like Zelda, it doesn't look like it in Breath of the Wild, which I was actually kind of disappointed, but also kind of kind of cool that that that, that you know a cool design. But I always love Zelda from Breath of the Wild, so I'm kind of, I don't know. But uh, again, it's still cool. It's cool that uh, they're bringing a link between worlds. And that's a cool design. So I'm not going to hate on it. Why is my nose so itchy all the sun? Ugh. Okay. What's no, uh, another thing I was excited about? Um. Also, Daisy's back, which was weird that I was hyped. I think it was mostly hyped because it was unexpected, even though Shakespeare going to be the same thing as Peach. But I was like, yeah, that was pretty, that was, that was, that was, that was something unexpected, so it made me hyped. Also, Bomberman is a assist trophy, even though, it, like, that's, that's going to upset a lot of people. It's cool that he's going to be in the game. And then they showed, uh, the last part they shown was that Ridley is going to be in Smash. That's awesome. That's awesome. That really is going to be in it. I was hyped because the fans were going to, it were, the fans wanted him, and now he's going to be in it. I will say one thing, even though I said that's awesome that he was in it. It was an awesome appearance, and it was awesome to show him that for the because of the fans. But in my opinion, I didn't care for him. I actually do not care. Did not care. It really was going to be in Smash. I'm sorry. I don't, I, mostly because I haven't seen all the Metroid games. I haven't played them. So maybe that could be the reason, like, a lot of you have played Metroid before and you won Ridley. But yeah. <laughs> My nose is itchy. Why? Ugh. Okay, so what was, um, yeah, so. But really looks cool, I, I will admit. But I think the Inglings are more exciting, in my opinion. So what is else something... I think that's yeah. That's basically it. That's basically what I was what I liked about it. Now I'm gonna show you what I thought was meh. The new the game they showed first didn't really caught my attention. It's cool that there's gonna be a new IP. That's always cool when the Nintendo is a new IP because that that's what made Splatoon really popular. But it just didn't really caught my attention because it didn't seem like my type of game. I'm not really a fan of robot games unless it's one of those cute robot games such as like um let me think. What was that game called? Grow Home. Grow Up. Like, Grow Up or Grow Home or something like that. I think it's Grow Up. It's cool that, like, that's a pretty interesting just because of the visual and all that stuff. And it's pretty cute, so... Even though I've never played it. But, like, that's, that type of game would, would caught my attention. But if it's just gonna be, like, just robot shooting, I, I don't care. I don't care about that. Um... What was another thing? Okay, what was other things? Um, sorry, I'm not, I didn't. I didn't script this. Uh, they um. They showed us. Uh, like the indie games, and uh, they showed Overcooked too, which I'm like saying that's cool. That's cool for the people who are fans of Overcooked. That's cool that, that there's going to be a sequel to that, and, you know, you know, congratulations, you get to play, a, there's a sequel of a game you like. But I never played Overcooked, so I didn't even care. I don't even care about really playing it. I mean, unless it's really interesting, it might be, it actually might be really cool as, than what it seems. And then they showed off this, like, this, the second game, too, which I heard it was an arcade game. It's like a game... About like collecting balls for the slots or whatever. I don't know. It, it, again, it didn't interest me, and I guess it's 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 cooler what what than what it seems like Overcooked too. Um, they also shows Hollow Knight, which actually caught my attention. I thought that looks really cool, and it was saying it was released today. Yay! But again, it's like not really that interesting <laughs> as much as you know Smash and all those other games. I told you. Um, so that was all the things I thought was. Oh, 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 yeah, they also showed, um, the games, upcoming games, like, oh, here's Starlink, uh, here's Mario Tennis Aces, there's also Octo Expansion, go get it, still, the, still they didn't show the date, even though it actually came out tonight, I'm actually downloading it right now, um, 
So yeah. That's all the things I thought was meh about it. Like, I'm like, okay, cool for those other- Oh wait, o Octopath Traveler, they also show the release date. That took a bit of- But not- that, that was- that wasn't too long, so they- that, that- So I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, so here's the things I hated about it. Let's first start about Reggie fils -Mate. If you don't know who this guy is, he's the pres- He's like the president of Nintendo of America, and he just- Ugh. I just, I just blow my nose, and it's still itchy. Okay, sorry. Reggie fils the president of Nintendo of America, was like saying, "Oh, well, the Switch is selling so much. Now you get to play wherever you go on the go." It's like it was telling him what it, what the Switch was, and it was so successful. And it's like that took time. I don't care. We all know that you're like, oh, yay, we got money. Thank you for giving all this money because the Wii U era, that Wii U, that sucked. But now we got the Switch, and we're getting a lot of money. <coughs> and so give it, thank you for giving us money. Like, I don't care. Show us games. I'm sorry to be mean, but show us games, okay? And then they showed off Pokemon Let's Go, which they... Already showed everything they told about uh, that he told about us told about the game. It was just what we saw in the trailer. So it, again, took so much time. I did not like it. But they did show off Mew, which I'm like, that's cool. But I, I I've never played Pokemon Yellow, so I don't know if that's like interesting. Like, oh, that's cool that Mew's in it. That's something new. Well, they, why can't they just show us a release date and like, oh, here's a reveal trailer if you haven't seen it yet. Here's the date and I'm using it. That's all you had to do. Sorry, I'm like, I'm getting the feeling of being watched. Um, what was it? Fortnite. Okay, I know a lot of you and I know one person that subscribed to me loves Fortnite. He, t he plays it all the time and it, they showed it for Switch. Okay, that's cool for you Fortnite fans. You get to get to experience it on the Switch. That's cool. But um you didn't need to show a trailer of it. You just didn't need to show a trailer of it. Just so like it's coming off today. It also that like I can't remember who said it, but someone said like, oh, it was that was confirmed that it was coming to Switch and was coming at E when E3 press conference. So they didn't need to tell us, they didn't need to show us a trailer that or anything. They should have just said, hey, we're getting, uh, getting a release date or just show off, um, just show off, like, the press conference while you're, like, into the treehouse or whatnot and show us Fortnite. That's all you need to do. This was one thing. They wasted time on things that would that they didn't need to waste time on. That's one thing I just didn't like about it. What was, okay, so what was another thing? I think that's all the thing that I hate about it. I just hate how they took so much time on stuff that no one cares about. And I know Fortnite was really cool. That's cool. That's that's in Switch. You know, that's cool for you fans. I'm not going to hate on you. I'm not going to hate on Fortnite because I never played it. But, I mean, I, I'll, I'll hate it. I mean, I hate it just because my brother tells me it, like it sucks. And I heard some people say it sucks, so... I'm just going to take their word for it, even though a lot of people say it's really fun. I don't know. I just think it's, I just think they just, they didn't need to waste time on that. There still is a release date. We all know what Fortnite is. So yeah, they just wasted time on so many things. And that's what was annoying. So what was one, okay, so I'm going to tell you one thing I'm disappointed. They showed, they didn't show us Animal Crossing. They didn't show us Metroid Prime 4. They didn't show us Pikmin 4. They also didn't show Yoshi, which, um, I'm sorry to say this, I don't really care for Yoshi. That's that's horrible to say. You probably hate me for saying that. Well, not horrible, that's just my opinion. Yoshi doesn't really caught my attention, except Yoshi, I played Yoshi Sign DS and then that was it. I don't really care about playing other Yoshi games. But yeah, like, it was supposed to come out 2018, but then uh, they actually told us that, the, the, uh, Nintendo told us that it was delayed. So, you know, that's kind of upsetting to a lot of fans who are Yoshi. I feel sorry for you guys that you don't get 
show it. And it was just something that it was hinted. There was a lot of things hinted in there. Like, the reason why people were thinking that Animal Crossing is coming is because it's been five years since the 